Before we proceed further, request you to please subscribe to our channel as shown above. Hello friends, welcome to Kamath Astrology. In today's video, we will cover an important transit that is Mars enters the sign of Sagittarius on 16 January 2022 and he remains there till 25th Feb 2022. So in this video, let us do a quick ascendant wise analysis of the impact of this transit. Now when Mars enters the sign of Sagittarius, it comes in close conjunction with Venus. Now there is almost a 20 degree separation between Mars and Venus. When Mars enters into the sign of Sagittarius or Dhanu, it first enters into the Mula nakshatra, then moves into the Purvashada nakshatra and finally into the Uttarashada nakshatra. Now what is the sign of Sagittarius all about? It is the natural ninth house in the zodiac belt which represents our gurus, teachers, spirituality and this sign also represents optimism, righteousness and dharma. It also represents pilgrimages and long distance journeys. So what happens when the army general enters the house of Guru? So let us begin with the Aries ascendant or the Mesh ascendant. For the Aries ascendant, Mars is the ruler of the first house and the eighth house and he is entering into the ninth house. The 8th house represents sudden events, represents secrets, represents buried things. The 1st house represents our physical self. And now the ruler of the 1st and the 8th house enters the ninth house. This means there will be certain sudden events in your life which will change the direction of your life. This could make you more spiritual. It could also give certain health issues to your father. Certain secrets which you have been hiding may come out in front of your guru, your teachers or your parents in this time period. Especially certain secrets related to your partnerships and affairs may come out in this time period. So this is an average transit for the Aries Ascendant. Now for the Taurus Ascendant or the Vrushab Lagna, Mars rules the 7th house and the 12th house and he enters into the 8th house. By virtue of the 12th house Lord entering into the 8th house, it is a Viparit Rajyog which means it destroys a lot of your problems in life. However, by virtue of the 7th Lord entering into the 8th house. This brings sudden events in your partnerships, in your married life. Since Venus is conjunct Mars, that is your Ascendant Lord is conjunct Mars in the 8th house, certain secrets will definitely come out but it could give sudden health issues. So for the Taurus ascendant I would say this is a time where you need to take care of your health, your spouse and your finances. The fourth lord sun is with Saturn. Mars is in your eighth house. So be very careful while driving a vehicle because there is a possibility that while driving a vehicle you could meet with an accident. So be careful while driving your vehicle. Now for the Gemini Ascendant or the Mithun Lagna, Mars rules your 11th house of friends, social network and gains as well as your 6th house of enemies, debts, litigations, diseases and he enters into your 7th house of partnership. So secret enemies can affect your married life, can affect your gains in this time period. Be careful especially while having relationship with the opposite sex because Venus is with Mars in your 7th house 
and this can aggravate your sexual drive and desire and lead to lot of problems however the venus mars combination encourages you to learn something new so if you wish to learn a new language if you wish to learn or do a new course related to finance related to any art this transit will encourage you to do that and will also help you to succeed in that new learning now for the kark lagna or the cancer ascendant mars rules your 10th house of career and your 5th house of children speculation and past good deeds and this mars is now entering into the 6th house of litigations and conflicts therefore in your workplace you could face challenges due to hidden enemies because mars is ruling your 10th house since mars rules your 5th house and enters into the 6th house again this could bring problems in love affairs avoid taking loans or getting into debts in this time period now let us move to the leo ascendant or the sima lagna so for the leo ascendant mars rules your 4th house of vehicles property comfort mother and happiness and your 9th house of good luck destiny gurus and teachers and he enters into the 5th house so this is a very good transit for you it gives you good opportunities on all fronts namely on your professional front as well as with respect to your family life your home and it will also give you gains through property so a very good transit for the leo ascendant or the sima lagna now for the kanya lagna or the virgo ascendant mars rules the third house of siblings courage and efforts and the 8th house of sudden events and he enters into your 4th house therefore lot of effort will be needed on your end in this time period to avoid conflicts with your siblings and with your neighbors you will need to put in a lot of effort to succeed in any activity that you undertake in this time period in fact mars encourages you to work hard and then gives you the desired result so this is a good transit for the virgo ascendant this transit could give you sudden property gains through inheritance or certain insurance gains in this time period now let us move to the tula lagna or libra ascendant so for the tula lagna or libra ascendant your ascendant lord venus is with mars in the third house mars rules your second house and seventh house and therefore in this time period you will make a lot of gains in your workplace you will be very aggressive with respect to your partnerships and they will give you financial gains in this time period so this is a good transit for the libra ascendant now for the scorpio ascendant or the vrishik lagna mars rules the first house and the sixth house and he enters into the second house therefore this transit gives you a lot of gains but there will be hidden enemies within your family circle who will try to pull you down in this time period so be very cognizant about this fact so though this transit gives you gains it also brings you trouble through hidden enemies within your family for sagittarius ascendant or dhanu lagna mars rules your 5th house of children speculation and knowledge and 12th house of foreign connections in the 12th house you already have ketu present and in the ascendant you have venus and mars therefore this 
transit gives you gains through foreign lands it also encourages you to learn something new to study some new subject and mars will give you great success in this time period so this transit is good for you now for the capricorn ascendant or makar lagna you already have sun saturn combination in the ascendant mercury is also present with saturn in the ascendant and therefore this can give you certain health problems however you will get gains by listening to your mother's advice in this time period for the aquarius ascendant the best thing is you have jupiter in the ascendant that itself is a great blessing for you mars rules your third house of siblings and 10th house of career and is present in the 11th house with venus who is also your fourth lord and ninth lord therefore this transit gives you a lot of benefits in your career promotion in your career as well as gains through your siblings so a very good transit for the aquarius ascendant now for the pisces ascendant or the mean lagna remember that saturn is aspecting your ascendant and now mars will also aspect your ascendant so this mutual aspect of mars saturn on the ascendant will bring certain health problems and property related challenges in your life however since mars has entered into your 10th house and is conjunct venus mars also rules your second house and 9th house this transit will give you a lot of financial gains it will also bring you a lot of good luck and success in your career so on the career front this is a good transit for the pisces ascendant but on the health front because of saturn mars mutual aspect on your ascendant this could be slightly challenging for you so friends this is my short analysis of mars transit impact on all 12 ascendants if you like this video please mark it as liked on youtube if you have not subscribed to our channel kamath astrology you can do so by clicking the subscribe button now so that you are notified automatically when we add a new video for any consultations please email us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com and we'll be glad to assist you you can also reach us through our website astroseva.tripod.com so friends thanks a lot bye take care and stay safe